So this is the large travel lift they have here at the Antalya Free Zone. I mean, Victoria standing in there, you can barely see her. The tires are way higher than she is. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. That is a massive travel lift. So right now, the Free Zone has a capacity of yachts up to 280 feet, launching capacity 85 of meters? And 2,000 tons. So technically, you guys, we're not even in Turkey right now. We're in the Antalya Free Zone, which is a dedicated area made by Turkey where it's tax-free, all the importation, anything you brought, bring in here, labor, there's no taxes. It's a free zone, which has been built by Turkey in order to bring in the yachting industry. So it's pretty amazing because you actually technically exited Turkey when you entered th this area. That's so you, you're clearing in and out every time you go pretty insane stuff but it is blossoming blossoming here the yachting industry there are a lot of really big shipbuilders in this area there's a huge dolmen right behind us amels is coming yeah, here i heard yeah. i mean there are like a lot of big yeah. boat builders which are settling down here and building here okay let's Paris. keep going when you get it in here like I mean I know we have measurements and stuff but is there like do you go further yes uh, we actually doing a mock-ups of each and every room okay and we assemble unvarnished furniture to make sure that we didn't miss or overlook anything let me show you here's our interior department interior design department Come on hello <laughs> It's all dedicated to interiors, so all these guys, all this beautiful team creating our unique interiors for each and every boat, from the smallest to the largest. Anzele is head of our interior designer, our chief designer. She's creating all the interiors, it's hers. Nice to meet you. And nice then it's down you. to the shop drawings and execution and production and installation. So she in charge all of this. That's your fancy office over there, huh? <laughs> Look at that office there. <laughs> Let me sh uh, show you our design and design stages here. Oh, there you are. Oh, We're mean, walking around the whole time. You're just sitting here drinking coffee. I gotta have a break, right? Union break? Union break, what are we doing? We are looking at how the design process, well, after it starts, right? How do we get from that point to this point all the fun stuff all the textiles all the leathers and i don't know please tell us <laughs> okay how we are starting our design we are starting to design ga first we are designing all circulation spaces all ergonomical problems we are solving all the problems on ga first when we uh, get confirmation from the client we are starting mood board design the, can the i pretend to be a client is yes, that okay? Sure. <laughs> okay? Always wanted to uh, pretend to be a super yacht client. So what are we designing? 145? Uh, 145 master stateroom. Uh, Love it. We are trying to get information from the client style, colors, what he likes, what he doesn't like. Mm -hmm. So. Or she? Oh, she, he, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that's beautiful. So these are all not real pictures? This is real pictures from another boat. Oh, because I'm like, this looks completely real. <laughs> okay, so this is just like an inspirational board. Uh, exactly. We, are, uh -huh. we can understand the color, what he likes, and style. So this basically. is like this is like basically Pinterest. Yes. You just I just tell you what exactly. it is. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you okay. Like yeah. I, oh, I was asked. Oh, that's right. Wait. I really like that one that we were back at. This is really nice. I like everything. I don't know what I don't like. I don't like that. I feel like that's too dark. Um, kind of more on the brighter colors, but I like a little more contrast maybe in between. That's nice. That's beautiful. Yeah, I like like the combination of the wood and maybe a little bit of a shiny surfaces. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Let me show you our client remarks. Yeah, I really like that. Go back to that. <laughs> I really like that. Can we have that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they said no yet. Aha! Yes, this is what we are this getting is from. Fun! Now. I can do this. 
What's the next stage? Uh, the next step is hand sketching. Let me show you. When we get the right brief from the client, we are making hand sketches okay. like this. Mm -hmm. And we are sharing with the client if he likes. We are progressing on the material uh, mm -hmm. board. That's really cool. Okay, what's next? What's next? We are picking... This is design your master stateroom in 30 seconds. <laughs> Uh, we are picking the materials. We are checking is it matching all together mm -hmm. or not. 145 client likes orange color, so we focus on the orange color first. This blue is really pretty too. Uh, this is for the captain's room. He likes blue as well. Mm -hmm. So we combine blue and uh, orange color all together. Nice. So the so. captain chooses all materials? For this boat, captain chooses his captain's room, yes. You know, when you get to that level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute, this conference room is very comfortable, but if I'm flying all the way out here for a shipyard visit after ordering my bearing yacht, I want to see everything. Are you with me? Let's go. This is the heart of interior design, right? It is. Okay. A manufacturing. Pumping heart. <laughs> so this is the varnish rooms? Yes, varnish what, What's special about them? Uh, when you put the varnish on top, there is a pressure inside and uh, the dust is not coming on the surface. Ah. So uh, we have more quality surfaces and uh, the dry of this varnish is more faster than normal. Because it's not only pressure controlled here, it's also controlled the humidity and the temperature. Temperature, yes. Interesting. So is it warmer in there? Let's check it. Okay, let's do it. No, it's not really warmer. <laughs> no, now it's open. Yeah, the door is open. But normally is it warmer? First room is mo more warmer. Uh -huh. Here is uh, the final surface. Yes. So it's different stages. There's three stages for this. Yeah, it's like a car painting room, but for wood. It is. It's, it's literally like a car paint booth with ventilation, filters, Everything gets sucked out immediately. All ceiling is a filter. The air gets pressed through the ceiling and evacuated through the floor. You see these filters here too. We can Whoa. check another room. Or you can walk through there. Uh-huh. Walk through and create dust. Oh, this one's really clean. It looks completely like sparkly. So this is stage two? Stage two, yes. Okay. First two and three. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's like the most yes, cleanest. Yes, exactly. We should check it. Air. Oh, they're painting, right? We'll just do a little glimpse with a camera. Don't interrupt the process. There's deadlines to be met. <laughs> Delivery schedules. You can see the storage place. Everything is done here. Uh -huh. uh, we are stocking our final products here. I will show you. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So yeah. we get the finished product here. Finished so product. which uh, yacht is this going into? This is 92. 92? Mm -hmm. Oh, the one that we just saw in uh, one of the hangars. This is high gloss surface. So this was client's choice? Yes. Okay. Uh, wood, varnish, all client. That's a bed? Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, fun. When you guys put this together, do you assemble everything together and then take it apart and then take it onto the boat? Um, How do you know it's all going to fit? Uh, we are picking everything here and yeah. there is code numbers for each uh, product, each uh -huh. furniture. We are moving all the products to the boat uh -huh. and we are assembling according to these code numbers. For uh, painting, we are assembling on the mock-up. We are trying to do, uh, is it fitting inside or not? Is it matching with the design or not? And then uh, when we finalize all the production in mock-up, we are uh, giving all the product to varnish room, varnish mm -hmm. team. So everything is finalizing in varnish area and we are sending directly to boat for assembly. And when it arrives at the boat, you know 100% it will fit because you already yeah. assembled it once before. Alexi, question. She just mentioned that you guys, before varnish and everything, do it in a mock-up. What does that mean? The mock-up is exact imitation of the rooms which we have on the boat. So, oh, so it's like a room? It's like a room. We, oh, I want to see that. Yeah, let's go. What is this here? Production area. Is we there call, different stages? We, we're going from the yeah. end of it so yeah, yeah, this is backwards. where actually furniture is getting made. born and assembled and then it's going to the varnish got it so but before it goes to the varnish we assemble it up in the mock-up area where we're gonna go right now awesome mm. 
new room. Mock-up area, aha. Uh -huh. This looks like a movie set. I come from the movie industry and this looks like a stage. This is a Bering Yacht mock-up set. Oh, wow. Oh, I get it now. This is the VIP room of 145. The VIP room. So we are in a mock-up. You can see here, this is the frames exactly the way so they're done this, on the So this boat. is the still frame that we see. It's pretend to be a still well, yeah, frame. Well, yes, yes. Mock still frame. Mock still frame, <laughs> right. But the furniture is actual. It's not an imitation of the furniture. So it's exactly it's the furniture. It's a furniture. It's not varnished. It's not upholstered yet. So we're just making sure that we're catching every little mistake which we may create it in 3d design mainly ergonomic mistakes mm -hmm. like if it's too narrow somewhere we will catch it and adjust it because we still can after this get to the varnish room get staged and assembled when the room is ready mm -hmm. so for 145 everything we we do here is going straight to varnish and then to the boat we cannot pass this stage for quality control purpose for just a perfection this gives us freedom to change something which we didn't catch at the beginning so this will be the head only like like the cabin tree and everything gets put here you don't you don't put like the whole no, we don't, sinks put, and everything. we don't put sinks, we put just a cabin tree. Okay. This is a nice size head here. <laughs> I literally feel like I'm on the movie stage. Well, this is so funny. We saw it on the boat, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now it's... it looks like a room here. We check everything double and triple during the, the 3D design stage. Mm -hmm. However, it's not always you can feel everything, you know, like big mistakes we not have here, but the small mistakes, like if it's somewhere you have to make a step somewhere yep. to open the door, it's not acceptable. We, right. we will figure out how to relocate this door or that open makes sense. it a different way. Even on the smallest boats, there is no like stepping right. like mm -hmm. this, opening, then turning yeah. around and closing like this. Right. We're not accepting this. So on the 77 that we toured, right? What do you do mock-up for? The whole design? Salon? Uh, no. So State rooms? State rooms. Yes, master and two guests. The areas where it could be tight or just yeah. to see what it really feels like. Cool. The galley, salon, usually salon, it's all it's yeah, raw it's ceiling big, and big floor. Big open room. So, big open yeah. room, which will populate with a freestanding sofas, chairs, right. tables. So, so we're entering we now into? bearing 70. Aha. Uh -huh which you've seen in the shop under construction. Yeah. And we're entering it through the so whole entrance, we, We're right? entering it through the side of the side boat. Side of the boat. Which will not be in Whee! real life. Yes. <laughs> okay. Here is the muster. Here oh, wow. is the place for muster bed, king size. All the drawings, all the plans. Yeah. Okay, so what? So that's a walk-in closet. Oh yeah, hey, it already looks like a walk-in closet. Oh, it's big. And, and the head. And the head. Oh, wow. Check it out. That's nice. Yeah, that's really cool. Can I get you to go in the shower? Uh, sure. Right here? Is the, the shower, shower right here? Yes. Wow, this is massive. This is a good shower. <laughs> He's still, even in this tour, he got to do that. Oh, I God. I always get her to go in the shower. And then there's more? It's uh, all let sanity? me show you. This is guest state room. There is two bunk beds here. Oh, okay. And there is a narrow uh, shelf for storage mm -hmm. here. And then we have VIP stateroom here, big size bed mm -hmm. here, uh, two cabinets, mm -hmm. uh, wardrobe. There's and the hat here. Yeah. There's shower. So cool. <laughs> there will be a shower. There is yeah, no yeah. shower right yeah. now. And uh, sink here and toilet here. But it really gives you a real life idea like how it will be in the boat. And it also explains to you why yachts of this quality do cost what they cost because this all requires money. Yeah. <laughs> like you have to be able to do this. This, you know, this is all you got to measure everything, cut everything. I mean, create all of this. This is this is a lot of work. And Put it, everything there, I disassemble it again. It's budget. For sure, and the 3D drawing is nice, but it doesn't give you this. It doesn't give you this, and you don't know 100% that there's, you know, the seam issue that sometimes you see on the production boats, you know, and that they're just off. You're not gonna have it on, on the boat like this, because it's all been measured and... Prior. Pr prior, yeah. exactly, absolutely. All right, where are we going next? Alexi's doing some quality control, and we sneak away 
So look at the rest. <laughs> look at the veneer. This is the veneer room? Yes, this is where all the veneer gets put together. So you, you see, it's perfect. All the grain is matching look 100%. Look at that machine. This is one of the sewing machines where the veneer gets actually sewed together. Oh, wow, this is cold. Why is it so cold in here? Oh, it smells like it smells like a sauna mixed with a humidor for cigars. Is that the smell? That's cedar. Oh, smell that. Oh my God, it smells good. Smell TV, you guys. Sorry you can't smell it, but... So this is where the veneer finish is, is stored. Like climate controlled. Climate controlled. Yeah, same humidity, same temperature. All the different veneer, different styles, different wood. It's just beautiful. And it's cool in here. It actually feels really nice. A little detour for you guys. All right, let's go okay, back. I think we have to go find him. Before we get in trouble. He found something he didn't like and he immediately was like, we got to address this little thing here. <laughs> he's, he's doing quality control. Yeah. It's a real boss. You see, he didn't even notice we're gone. Well, they didn't even miss us. No. So I can show our master stateroom. This is our final GA. Oh yeah, that's what we just saw. Uh -huh. Cool. Nice. Oh, so this is orange. Yes, he okay. doesn't want to see so much orange, so we just, just a little. It. Yes, just little colors. And it's interesting to see because we have already designed the second mm -hmm. 145, and you can see the contrast how people uh, what they choose, and what it's they so choose, different. It's totally dif different. Anzale, show the 145 hole number two. Same room. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. Oh, wow. Very different. That's completely different. This room is divided by two. You see, it's like yes. a sleeping area with uh, with so, a head yeah, it's access. Completely, it's cut like in the half, kind of. Yeah, almost in ah. the half. And then, and then it, it's like a quarter. It's have a living room, kitchenette. Yeah. This one I told you with a balcony. Wow. Yes, this is completely different. Same oh, boat. Oh, I like this. What? That's yeah. all in a master suite? It's all in a master suite. <laughs> yes. You know, it's 850 square feet. I oh. love that door. How beautiful is that? You is know? it really going to look like that? The great? Yes, absolutely. You know what we this, have it now. This design yes, reminds me of all the what? This, this is like the Ritz Carlton Super Suite. That gives you guys an idea of how different it could look. And it's just, you know, you just got to be able to uh, have imagination. You seem to have clients who just sometimes order a boat over the phone. Yeah. It seems we, like that's happened to you a, a few times. Yes, and we have clients who do 10 revisions of the same room. After actually 77 was delivered with the, uh, to the person who never get out of his country to visit the that's shipyard. That's what I'm saying. Due Just to the ordered, COVID restrictions. Or ordered over the phone, and basically. And it was exchange of the 3D files and everything. And so how does this work? Like the fabrics and stuff. He just trusts you or do you ship it to him when he gets to touch mm, it? Or no, it usually it's, it's a shipyard visit. We put a little, maybe even like mock-ups, not, not just a small <coughs> sample. Presentation. We yeah. have somewhere sample you like the door uh -huh. do we have hold on let me oh, you can okay. get it okay. no it's oh. it's it's interesting you know because they can see, they want to see this they they cannot seems like understand how this door is gonna work it, yes. and we we yeah. put it uh, mm -hmm. a fragment of this door and say this is how it's gonna look it, it really looks like that this is the door this really looks like that door that's how so did, amazing. Some, how did you guys some do options this? for the colors? Now I can really say, okay, yeah, I know what the door is gonna look like. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. it really gonna look like the photo. Wow, this is Yeah. You can use it as a weapon, just in case. Oh yeah. This is where the feeling aspect comes in. Wow. When you are, yeah. Which is a huge thing for Rico. It's like just, that's my he's it's all a very big about, thing for me. Like how does it feel? How does it sound? How does a door sound That's when a it door closes? Hinge? It's a door hinge. Wow. Interior door hinge. Interior. This is crazy. It's all 316 stainless. This is serious. That's your interior door, you guys. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's a very fancy This, this fancy little door. hinge is 140 euro piece. Yeah. That's amazing. So your, your, your two hinges on the door is running with 300 euro right there. If you sub out for a couple of sliding doors, you're going to save a lot of money. Mm, probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, don't, you don't like those either? I don't like sliding doors. No, no. you don't like no. sliding doors. All right, should we go back to the tour? Yes. Let's go back to let's the tour. Let's go back to the tour. Okay, where are so we going let's next? Go up, uh, let's go to the upper deck. Okay.
this is a large crew area. Yeah, it's like very, really, especially really if you large. close these doors, right? To have yeah, this whole yeah. space alone. It's very, very big. What's your head, Rico? Quality is the key. We take quality is very, very seriously in our uh, shipyard. On this boat, there are two surveying companies involved and also our internal control, which done by the Dutch guys. We are aiming for Northern European quality of the shipyards like a Fed ship, Hissen, Lorsen, and everything you see here is done with top quality certified materials, cabling, piping, and everything done up to the standard of best Northern European yards. For our, you know, us novices, they don't know when you say that, does that mean basically a, a surveyor, an independent surveyor that's hired, that comes in and checks on quality on the control regular, on, on the regular, regular basis. basis. Yes, at this stage, surveyor from UK spending about two weeks out of the month to survey this boat. Yeah. So he's present basically every second day he is at the job site. We yeah. welcome, we encourage, we ask for the owner to have at least three surveys during the construction with independent surveyor. And then the owner gets the report on that survey time into his cabinet again? Into yeah, that all, office, all online the surveys, office? All the, for example, we're doing x-ray, like after yeah. uh, completion of the boat, we're doing uh, x-ray and sound testing of the boat, all this information, it's official information, it's third party, a lot of things done by third party yeah. as far as the control goes. So, and it's all get uploaded to the owner's cabinet. All right, where are we going next? Up. <laughs> I'm lost already. Up, up, up. 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 So now we are at the boat deck level. You see this vast space? Oh, is that for the davit? Uh, this is the base for the crane. Almost three tons, 6,000 pounds wow. capacity. And we can put our 28 high suket here. Seriously? It would fit. That is amazing. Yeah. The plan of this particular owner, he want to have six meter and two smaller tender. When they launched, we can take out the cradles because they are on bayonets. Yeah. They easily manually get detached, stored away, and this is your dance deck, this is your party deck, whatever you want to do. Aren't you building a 180? I'll show you something. It's 180 and we have 225. I'll show you both. One of them, I heard something like two helicopters, like, like a garage. Two. Yeah. <laughs> Like, so humble about it. Two helicopter spots, okay. So this is considered the boat deck? Yeah, this is the boat deck. Actually, now you're standing on very precise level of the future deck. Oh, okay. So the deck is get fairied as well. You can see this different color fairing. The yellowish fairing is a deck fairing. It's laid under the teeth. And imagine the sound insulation of this. When you walk, you don't hear any, nobody nothing, hears any. Nothing, nothing. Everything under the teak is on the bed of this fairing. It's lighter than the exterior fairing. Very durable, very, very strong. This is fully fared. It's ready for top coat after a few rounds. So you see here, it's a little trap for the water in front of your sliding door. Any water will be trapped here so this is drainage. and drain it's a drainage and we have way bigger drain in a cockpit so it's can evacuate massive amount of water in case something comes on deck on this level it would be mainly rainwater right? rainwater so what is this uh, this we? is the upper salon we have a head here day head we have a bar area big tv and say these it's a it's just another salon and again massive windows this yeah windows crazy. massive but we're not jeopardizing the expedition quality of this boat because these windows is overly thick in various places we're using one inch thick triplex reinforced glass wow. so this is as strong as a metal surrounding it it's high up and everything and it's just and as again the, the, the head it's head huge room. this is leading us to it's gonna be wider it's not it's not finished size so this is the again companion way because the main staircase coming from the 
lower decks or the so middle deck. So this goes all the way up, up here. To here mm -hmm. Yes. Here is the captain quarters. Very generous room. You see how big it is with a panoramic window. And I was giving the captain that other room. We so love yes. captains. We he love. Has his own we beautiful. love captains. <laughs> Wow! And the crew. <laughs> well, that's a really nice private. What is this for here, this opening? You see, this is staircase for crew. So the crew using oh. separate staircase. All the way yeah. down to the crew quarters. All of the way down to the crew quarter. They come up here. So this is a they service. Can, they can go to the pilot house. It's a service. Service we have uh, com of completely, staircase. Completely separate Ooh. traffic of crew and, and, uh, and, and a guest. guest. That's going to be a really nice captain's cabin. That's, that's really amazing. nice. So pilot house, pilot house is uh, bigger than necessary, of course, for driving this boat. However, it's also area for passengers. It's a big city here. It's very nice, you know, six, it will accommodate six people who wants to watch what's going on. Should we go outside uh, should, and take uh, we, a little we peek? Can go we go? to the uh, uh, bow deck. Where do we go from here, Rico? Check. Whoa! <laughs> wow. Look at this. It's almost to my elbow. Wow. Wow. I can't wait for the boat to be in the water. <laughs> Soon. We are invited for the launch, right? Absolutely. I will tell you everything tonight. <laughs> it's on camera. Yes. It's you said absolutely. Camera. You see, it's such a bed of this compound. You know, there are certain areas which can be vibrating despite the zero vibration. It's it's happened every here, there, but we run it through the acoustic modeling and we know the zones with excessive vibration or excessive sound uh, formation because it travels, it travels weird way. We have to catch it before we build the boat. After we complete the 3D model of the boat, we're running like we're running it through CFD modeling or hydrodynamic modeling. We're running it through the acoustic modeling and we reinforce areas which prone to vibration and sound formation and this is helps this is really helps can we talk about the size of this bow so and then you have the work deck the, the work areas again separated it's actually a lounge area it's a sun pad and settees and tables here so you out of the way if you at the marina this is a good place to have your dinner breakfast and here i want you to see what we're doing here you see this stainless steel insert. It's all steel, like the, the front part, it's yeah. not aluminum. Everything up to somewhere here, it's all steel because it's where the impact area is. Yeah. So we're welding a stainless steel where we have a gunnels here. It's a stainless steel insert, which will be covered by the fairing and everything surrounding because it's a problem where the steel come to the contact with uh, where, where the fairing ends. So it's a, it's a very vulnerable part because if you expose this seam to the elements, it will rust. It's stainless and mild steel. It's perfectly well to weld them. It's a, it's a very solid weld. However, exposed to elements, to salt water, it will start to show the rust formation. So we cover it, cover it with a fairing and then everything exposed, the stainless steel you see exposed, it stretch under the fairing fair amount of distance so yeah. that no rust can form. What you were talking about on the 77? 77, 77 yeah, the same. All boats think. the same. Yeah. Same thing. We're hiding the connection between mild and uh, stainless. We're hiding under the fairing. Not hiding, we're protecting, protecting it, it with the fairing so no rust issues could be on the edges. Which is really maybe it's, it's contribute to this myth that this is the rust bucket. Yeah, exactly. Oh, this sure doesn't look like a rust bucket to me. <laughs> the funny part that in the stage that it's in right now, it looks like it's concrete. Yeah, like yeah. I feel like I'm on a concrete yeah. model. So this is your largest build, right? Up to date. Oh no. Yes. But you are going up. I think it's a successful design. We already have uh, one more order, which we start building next month. And we have two in negotiation. So wow. it means that people like the functionality. I cannot judge the exterior and everything right. else, but functionality of this boat is incredible. Oh, we still haven't been to the flybridge. Wow, this just keeps going. Explore yachts are just so much, have so much volume. Holy smokes! 
Yeah, it's a jacuzzi bedding. You're in the jacuzzi right now. Oh, your feet is wet now? Yeah. Get out. Okay. <laughs> this is a really big flybridge. What are these two compartments here? One compartment is staircase. Here is the bar area. Actually, we have food elevator coming to this level. Oh, you have a you have a dumb waiter. Yeah, it serves the upper salon and it serves the the flybridge. Where is that going to be? I think it's here. Uh -huh. And this is the storage area. It's like a giant pantry and the yeah. storage for a little bit more lunch and chairs. You can throw the party for like. 40 people right here. It's enough dining tables. It's it's a big bar area with the six bar stools, and so you can have a pretty pretty good sized party. And again, headroom. It's crazy. Just crazy. It feels so open. On this one, we have a big slide, slide? from this level. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine we're so high up. We're in the level of the fifth floor right now, basically. Five-story yeah. high slide. So um, the hard top here is only supported by the two main supports. Yes. Wow. I mean, there's not, there's not a beam. There's nothing. No obstruction. Not here either. No. That's a view. Just the width of everything. Everything is just like super size me of course it's all enclosable of and course it's, it's, all enclosable. it's heated and cool if uh, weather less than perfect you can adjust it all righty you guys this completes our full tour as much time as uh, we could give you a full tour would have probably taken us two weeks so this completes our very brief tour of Bering Yacht Shipyard in Antalya Turkey I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sure this was extremely interesting and very unique. We are so grateful to Alexei for taking the time and showing us around. We're just blown away by how inspirational this is and how amazing you are and just so grateful for hosting. Thank you for having us. We Thank would like you. to be back. Can I keep the hat? Yes, you can keep the hat. Six euro. <laughs> no taxes? No, free of tax. We are in free zone. It's a free zone, but not. So thank you so much. Thanks for having us. If you guys have any questions, put them down in the comments below. If you are interested in the Bering Yachts, which I'm sure many of you now will be, all the contact information will be in the description underneath the video. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment. Bering Yachts have their own YouTube channel, so go ahead and follow them, right? Absolutely. Go ahead and follow them. Uh, also check them out on Instagram. Check out our Instagram. We post updates every single day on Insta Stories. And outtakes? Oh, I'm pretty sure we have some yeah. outtakes. Some very loud outtakes. So we tried to shoot between the shifts. It feels like this yacht doesn't stop. It just keeps going. I have a question. Yes. Um, I've been through the whole shipyard in white shoes. They're completely, still completely white. I, I'm, I, I don't understand. Why is it so clean here? How do you do it? Is it because we're not dealing with fiberglass? Uh, I'm not sure. It just it's just very clean. I would say it's a normal condition. Sometime when the customer comes, yeah. we do extra clean. Even more clean? More clean. But my black shoes are still black. You yeah, see? this is incredible. I'm just amazed. So you're doing it. It's a very clean shipyard, you guys. <laughs>5, 5,000 tons. And 2,000 tons. And 3,000 tons. <laughs> 3,500 tons. <laughs> okay, we got it. I think we got it. <laughs> That's for everyone who thought I am an idiot to wear a dress in the shipyard. We get the best shots when Rico said he doesn't want to do something and then he does it. And those are the best shots of the video. Like that one. Are you tired? Did we tire no. you out? No. <laughs> no. He's like, when are they gonna leave? <laughs> Come on. I'm thinking how much more has to be done here. <laughs> yeah, you said seven months. I think Wait. it's gonna be ready. Let's oh. do I'm afraid. Maybe it's high pressure there. If it's, warmer, be blown if, it, if it's warmer in there, you guys check it out. I stay oh, outside. Oh, I see. You with the camera? Okay, we'll follow you. Uh, office? Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, just one second. I need to talk to you. Yeah, yeah, of course. I found one thing which I... Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Mistakes. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, wait. I'll go back.
it's good that these chairs are so easy to maneuver. And, and everything, so... Um. Oh, <laughs> But that, that staircase doesn't go into the captain's quarters, right? No. Oh, okay, I'm just, you know, I'm just checking. I need a perspective in there. Can you stand next oh, to the... Of course, next to the perspective. Time? Uh, excuse me, can we talk about... Um, did someone, did someone know I'm coming, or...? Rico! <laughs> it says Rico! No, I'm kidding. That's funny. I think it says Rico. It's Rico, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're joined again by founder and the president of Bering Yachts. I forgot your last name again. Alexei Mikhailov. <laughs> Alexei Mikhailov, and he is here. It's hilarious, because I'm Russian. That should be easy for me, but for some reason I can't remember it. What, battery? Camera too hot. Shut the front door. Yeah. 